Welcome guys. In this video, we are going to talk about changing decimal to fraction and fraction to decimal. First of all, uh, we would get some example about changing decimal to fraction. In example number one, if you are given decimal 0.3. So we know that if there is no denominator, we can see the denominator is 1. And then times the number which can remove this decimal to make it in fraction. So after decimal, as many number you have to multiply by uh, those tens, according to those tens. So after decimal, only one number, so we multiply by 10 and divide by 10. So when you multiply, you will get 0.3 times 10 equals 3, 1 times 10 equals 10. This is your answer. Take another example. Example number 2. If you have double digit, 0.36. So again consider there is one denominator. So times the fraction about the tens. So after decimal, how many number? Two numbers. So it means hundreds. So what number you multiply, you have to divide. So when you multiply 0.36, 100, it becomes 36. And 100 as it is. Then simplify if possible. So both denominators have a common 4. So divided by 4, up and down. 36 divided by 4 equal 9. And 100 equal 25. This is your answer. Okay, take another example. Example number 3. For example, we have 3.75. So again, consider there is 1. So times, again after decimal, what fraction multiply of tens? 100. So because after decimal there is 2 digits. So multiply by 100 and divide by 100. When you multiply it by it becomes 375 divided by 100. Now if you see that uh, there is a common. Remember if there is a number at the end 5 and 0. So, denominators and numerator can cancel by 5. Multiple of 5. They are multiple of 5. So, if we divide by 5, so we will get here uh, 35 and 275 over 20. Still, as I said, if there is 5 or 0, so it must be multiple of 5. So, we divide up and down by 5 again until we have the simplest form so we get here 15 over 4 so it is in proper fraction you can write in proper fraction into mixed number which is what number you divide give you 15 or near to that it is 3 3 times 4 equal 12 so 3 left, 3, 12 plus 3 equals 15. So 3, 4. Hope you get the answer. We can this uh, do this question another way also. You can rather you multiply it by tens. You can directly do it. For example, 0.3. So just consider to remove the decimal. We can say decimal means 1 under denominator. So as many decimals after that, after, uh, as many digits after the decimal, we write the 0 in denominator. So there is only one digit after decimal, we say only 10. So remove the decimal, just consider it is removed. Now just consider it is removed. So what left? 3 left. Now simplify if possible. If you observe this example also, 
in this example we are given 0 0.36 so as i said how can i change into the fraction so write the numbers replace 1 as a decimal and count how many numbers after decimal there are two numbers so make two zeros in denominator and just remove the decimal consider it's removed now write 36 after the check if it is possible simplify so do simplify otherwise leave as it is so this question has been done here divisible by 4 so divide numerator and denominator by 4 so you will get 9 out of 25 hope you understand this part how to change decimal to fraction now see how can we change fraction to decimal we take a couple of example here in example number 1 we are given let's go the fraction half we need to change into decimal so we have two ways one is the hard method other one is the easy method so i will start with hard method so one write in this form divided by two now we need the number which multiply and after multiply we get equal that number one so there is no number which multiply by the number which can give one because two is already bigger than the number inside so what is what can you do we have two ways to solve this one also for example i just consider if the number is smaller than the uh, the numerator is smaller than the denominator so we just put decimal at the top and add the zero add the zero here now if you look at here it becomes 10 and it becomes 2 so 2 is smaller than 10 now we need the number which multiply give us 10 so that is 5 5 times 2 give you 10 so there is 0 left means nothing so answer is 0 0.05 so this is your answer okay or we can do this question like this for example uh, 2 divided by 1 put decimal here and put 0 and just consider this is 10 this is 10 now what number you multiply give you 10 that is 5 okay so you put the decimal and 0 but just consider that decimal is not appearing here so the complete number is become 10 so what number you multiply it give you 10 so it is 5 so again we left nothing but remember when you put decimal in the question so don't stop your answer there so then you have to check so this decimal move upward somewhere here so that becomes 0 0.5 again the same answer it's up to you either you can use this method or this method they are same if that number is uh, again uh, give us something here and also smaller than th uh, this number we can add one more zero over here we take another example uh, so in example number two for example i was given three out of four now change this fraction to decimal again i'm going to do with this method so there is three and four 3 is smaller than 4 so I have to take the number uh, which can multiply give you 3 but 3 is small whenever the smaller number inside and uh, it means that numerator and denominator so just put decimal and add the 0 with that number so now it becomes 30 it becomes 30 so multiply multiply that number it becomes 30 so what number you multiply give you 30 or less than 30 so 7 is there 7 times 4 give you 28 so now minus them it becomes uh, 30 28 it becomes 2 now if you look at here this is again the smaller and this number is bigger number so 
uh, we have here uh, the smaller number and the bigger number. So what should we do that? Again, we can add the zero here. So what number you multiply give you 20, that is 5. So it is 20. Now, zero left means nothing. So we have the answer 0 0.75. This is our answer. Again, we can do by this way also. Uh, for example, I was given 3, 4, 3 divided by 4. And uh, because 3 is smaller, I'm just putting decimal here and 0. I'm just consider there is no decimal and it is 30. So what number you multiply give you uh, 30 or less than that number. So that is 7. 7 times 4 give you 28. Now minus it, 30 minus 20 will give you 2. So because 2 is smaller than that number, so put zeros here and also here. So it becomes uh, 20, what number you multiply give you 20, that is 5. So this is 20 and again nothing left there. So still don't stop here because uh, uh, we put the decimal by ourselves. So take this decimal to upward here. So that becomes 0 0.75. So this is your answer. Hope you understand how to change decimal to fraction and fraction to decimal. Thank you very much.